This is podcast number three, and it deals with the equation of state. We start with Boyle's law, which states that for a constant temperature, pressure multiplied by volume is a constant. A second law by Charles, Charles's law, states that pressure is directly proportional to temperature for a constant volume. By combining these two laws, we end up with the equation of state and the ideal gas law. It can be written in three different ways, as we see across the bottom here. The pressure times the specific volume is equal to some constant, R, times T. Alternatively, this can be written as pressure times the actual volume is equal to the mass times the ideal gas constant times the temperature. Or finally, pressure can be equal to the density times the ideal gas constant, T. Essentially, what we're saying here is that there is a direct portion proportionality between pressure and temperature. And there's a little demonstration here that should show this. OK, what we have here is a little piece of fuel. It's a cotton bud that I'm just putting in a holder here. And then I'm using this, which is just an empty cylinder, placing on the top for the air. So we have fuel and we have some air. Now with this piston, I'm able to compress the air. So I'm increasing the pressure, decreasing the uh, volume, and what we'd expect is for the temperature to rise. So when I compress it like that, the temperature rises so much that you get this compression ignition. The temperature is so high that the cotton bud spontaneously combusts. Okay, so back to some slides. For the equation of state, we've talked about R. R is an ideal gas constant, and it relates the pressure and, vo and uh, volume to temperature. Now this ideal gas constant is a constant for most gases for as long as they're not close to liquefaction or dissociation. Liquefaction is what happens when a, uh, a gas comes close to phase change. So when a glass gets so cold that it begins to turn to liquid. Dissociation is what happens generally in a combustion process where the molecules of the gas are broken down into their component atoms. So liquefaction and dissociation are something that we're not really going to deal with in this course. But are, <coughs> but are a point where the ideal gas constant, the ideal gas law does not work. So what are some typical values for R? For air, you can see it's around 0 0.287 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Hydrogen, much bigger, 4.16 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And carbon dioxide at 0 0.19 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Please note that when you're using the ideal gas constant, the ideal gas law, you must use SI units. That means that the temperature must be in Kelvin and that the ideal gas constant, R, must be in joules per kilogram Kelvin. Here's a quick example of how to apply the ideal gas law. The question reads, what is the temperature of an ideal gas, in this case carbon dioxide, that has a density of 1.7 kilograms per meter cubed and an absolute pressure of 1.1 bar and a specific gas constant of 0.189 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. The ideal gas law states that PV is equal to MRT, but this can be rearranged to find that the temperature is equal to the pressure divided by the density and also divided by the ideal gas constant. The pressure, which is 1.1 bar, is equal to 1.1 by 10 to the 5 pascals in SI units. And that is divided by 1.7, which is kilograms per meter cubed, that's the density, and also divided by 189 which is the ideal gas constant in the correct SI units of joules per kilogram Kelvin. By solving this, we get a temperature of 342.4. And please note that the units here are Kelvin, not degrees Celsius. If you want to convert to degrees Celsius, you do so here by subtracting 273.15, which gives you an answer of 69.21. And that completes podcast number three, which is the equation of state.